Hey everyone, it's Jonas Ayas here, and today we got this really cool tool. I was watching some videos of the night, and I was like, oh my god, this tool is insanely amazing. So be prepared to be really excited. Now, granted, some of the stuff we're going to show you isn't quite there yet, but again, the future, like it, this stuff is just going to be mind-blowing. So um, the, the website's websim.ai, and I'll put the link up here too if you can see it. And we were just playing around, and Isaiah shown like one of the ones that we, we played with. All right, yeah, so basically the website looks like a website, <laughs> and basically there's a prompt in here, but the interesting thing about this prompt is that what you're supposed to put there is a URL, like a website URL, and the prompt will automatically generate the website for you <laughs> with whatever you give it. It is really interesting, but let's, let's try something, and then this is what I was actually trying before, it was uh, AHK, for example, syntax highlight dot editor or something like that. It's just a website that is just that. And just with that, it tries to build a website that would do what that URL says, right? So right now it created kind of like a little editor and then I don't know what this button would do. It just decides what to do with it. but. Interestingly, and this is the part that Joe was saying, it's not quite there yet. We we have some mixed results. Like, um, let me look at the, here on the left side, you can see your uh, history of things that you have tried. And I think this one was one of them that was really cool. Like I saw it and I was like, oh wow, that's getting so close to what I want. And one time when I used it as a URL, AHK Syntax Highlight Editor, it actually highlighted, and I was like, oh my God, it, 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 it is an editor, right? You can type in it, and if you type something that it is not syn our hockey syntax, it doesn't highlight, but as soon as you type something, if I remember right, if you type something like message box, it was actually, there it is, like it, it gave you the highlighted. It was very interesting. And it by itself decided, hey, to have different themes and stuff. Again, it's not 100% working, but hey, you have something or at least an idea of how to start a hey, website. Change the spacing around. Is the format, is that what you think the format code does? What do you mean? Well, just, when you say just like you're doing, just like you just did. Okay, so. And then hit format code. Okay. And, and I'm wondering if it if that's what that would supposedly do is is straighten it up. No. Okay. It, would, it would probably yeah. So if I was adding new lines or or um, didn't have anything formatted, this button would supposed to fix that, fix the formatting. It's not yeah. working. So so, but so let's show them. So hey, you know this is where it's really to me kind of bizarre because it's weird. Right. If that hey right. that doesn't work, you go back into your URL address and type it like a prompt, just saying the I format. Say, yeah. um, implement the format uh, code button is not working, for example, and see if it, and, and it will try to fix that part, for example. So and 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 that is interesting because you can modify the URL and look at the URL here that this is supposedly the website that you're visiting, but it is also a prompt. And as it is working, um, I could I just wait for it to finish, which is kind of displayed as a, as a loading screen or something. It would, so now that it loaded, you can try again the code and see if it works. Let's just go ahead and try it out. Let's see if that does what I'm expecting. Well, it tried, and now it tried to format the stuff. So as you can see, you can build on the on the URL and fix stuff that is not working or try and fixing. And now the button is trying to do something while a few se seconds ago, it was not doing that. Well, it moved some comments out, which I didn't want that. <laughs> As you can see, yeah, that's that's the interesting part. You can play with it and get it to do what you want. Now, it is amazing the type of ideas that you can um, that you can do. Like for example, one of the first ideas we had, like, hey, create a regular expression tester. 
that then in the end converts it to some auto hotkey v2 code. Again, we're thinking about the people who watch our videos that mainly use auto hotkey v2, but hey, you can create whatever you want in here. And, and basically we just put some, um, let's say strings and I say, hey, digits in this format, test it, it found it. And now it also gave me the auto hotkey v2 code that I could use for that. Now, remember, this is not perfect. So the auto hotkey code that it gives you might not be um, perfect, but look at this. I can change this to another string and try to match it. And it does match. And let me try something like, this is a test. This part should not be matched. There it is. It highlighted the part that actually matches and the part that didn't match is not matching. And that was kind of like in two tries. I just I just told it what I wanted and it just went ahead and did it. And I was like, oh my God, I, I, you have something that is a starting point for a website idea just by either putting a URL in here or actually adding a prompt. And interestingly, you can give it images, yeah. right? And that's what I thought. Um, you came up with one that I was like, oh my God, that, that would be great. If yeah. I could get the prompt like, hey, grab this and create a website that converts this to a, an auto hot TV2 code. But that would be amazing. Again, it is not quite there yet, but just imagine that we build a website that takes in uh, an image and says, hey, let's do this. Look at that. Look at this. So again, this is interesting that you can generate a website that does that. It's very yeah. interesting. So what I did and just did go to like mockups. And just pull up one of our other things that we are, we've created. Take a screenshot of it. Something like that. Okay. Let me oh, let me make this smaller. All right. Uh, let's make it bigger and move this away. Whatever. All right, here, and take a screenshot of that. Well, yes, yeah, where you can save it as a file. All right, I did. And instead of instead of saying create a website, just say, um, yeah. So paste it, and then say convert this image to an auto hotkey GUI. So I took one from a running auto hotkey program shoved it in there. And so I didn't say make a website. I just said, do this. And it actually gave me working V2 code. Um, it was misaligned and stuff, but still it was really cool. Imagine taking a picture of a GUI and just being able to give it stuff and have it give you the code to make that, right? Like it's going to drastic. this whole concept is just going to be crazy. Yeah. Well, so again, yeah. And it doesn't necessarily work, but you get the idea. Now in the video I watched, like they said, go say, create, create, uh, an online version of Excel. That would be insane. Like, <laughs> and it, it's this is where it's like poof, mind blown, right? Like, you so gotta, clever. you have to like totally rethink what's possible, right? right. Uh, but in the video, so put some values in there. Put put a uh, uh, hundred and ten, whatever, and some numbers, and then in column C. Use a formula to say it's it's A1 plus B1. Something like that. Yeah. Now, right. So he probably actually spent a little bit more time making it work, but this started off with at least the the the, the main idea of what it looked like. Well just so. just just so go up there and say the formula didn't work. Update it so the formula works, right? But 
again, to your point is this, we're not trying to say, look how, look at what we did. It's look at what's possible, right? With a little bit of work, you can start creating tools, whether it's a website you, you might want to use or whatever. And of course, it's not something, this is local, right? It's not something that's online, like you're going to be setting right. up people. Oh, so you can have that. Okay. Oh, so, that's funny. Right. It just did that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Equals A1 plus B1. Ooh. Ah, well, that was closer. Put some parens around it, maybe. Okay, let's see. Or maybe some. Boy, that's funny. I haven't used, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, but it is interesting that yeah. it at least... Fair right. So, yeah. right. Oh, maybe because this... Uh, I don't know. Oh, there you go. Oh, that. Good catch. That's insane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it's, it's, it's just wild, right? Like, right. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Say, in auto hot, in auto hot key, often we're we're trying to pick colors and convert them into you know something for shade for your gooey color, right? So let's have a website that allows you to have a color picker for auto hot key. Um, for hotkey shading uh, for a GUI. ASK color picker dot com or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, think that I I I just have to put the website name and it would do all well, it had it needs to yeah. do for something like that. The ASK color code would appear here. Huh. The colors is not this. Oh, I will show you something that I noticed that you could do. Uh, hold on, let me see one. Um, you can take a screenshot. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So you can take a screenshot, right? And tell it to, oh, okay. Let me save this. Put it here. Oh, there it is. And tell it that uh, the color picker is only displaying one color. Make it so that it displays all colors or something like that. So, so you can give it screenshots of what it's looking like right. right now and what you're trying to fix, and it would take that as a context. Right. Well, again, really? yeah, go to go to one you're trying to rip off in the concept wise. Be like, hey, I like oh, this. Right. Or, Say, show me something similar to this. Right. right. So, and I like this when you hover over the the yeah. progress bar, it shows you what. Look, look at that! I just yeah. I just showed you, and now I have a color picker that I could do this. And at the bottom, look at this output bar. It's a screen width or yeah. whatever. This is not real color. Uh, this is not real auto hockey code, but at least you know what what we're getting at here. Like, right. Right. Well, yeah, one I was thinking of for a GUI, which is funny because we're working on a tool kind of similar, is to take it like from mockups to give it that and say, compartmentalize each one of these things where I can drag them around on the screen, right? And then it would update the, give you the GUI code for it. So when you're trying to arrange things, right? Like, wouldn't it be cool if each one was a module kind of like in mockups, right? Oh, I can drag this here. I, oh, I want the little higher, right? It would, yeah, exactly. You'd be able to do that in the tool and have it give you the code to do that. Right. right? Like one of the things I, I would love because this this tool in general seems to export in HTML. Maybe right. I could have it so that if I create a GUI like this, have the HTML, and I put it on a website, that right. it would give me the hockey code for it, which is insanely cool, right? So yeah. it would be great. Yeah. So again, it's we're, and we're just tapping. Like if you, I'll put I'll try to link to the video. I'll put it in the description. Of the video I watched because it was like 30, 40 minutes long. It was it was still really, really, really impressive because they were creating games. They were doing wild. They were creating keyboards with sounds that would play. Not that you know that's something that we would do, but again, just damn. Yeah, when you look at the this at the bottom, you have some examples yeah. like the top of the week and the top of the month and so on. You can see what people are trying. Yeah. And the things that they show up with, like what it comes up with, is insane. Wow. Yeah, again, I, I'm not 
clear on how much once you create a page that you're happy with, if you can port it over to actually running on your website, right? But I don't think that's necessarily the main goal. It's to, to get you beta testing, have something very quick to get closer to where you want that later you go do it in a much more robust way is what how I would argue. Yes, of course. This could be kind of like a static, like, like a starting point, and then right. you. It's the mockups for a website, so to speak. Yeah, right? Mockups like, for a website. That's right. Yeah. Now, so if I remember right, there was a a button here to share, or you can download yeah. the website, but you can copy the URL and give it to somebody, and right. they can actually access the website and look right. at it. Right. Like you can sort of um, publish the website. Right. By just giving the link. So it is very interesting. Look at this. Like this is a fully working um okay. website that does something amazingly interesting, at least for me, right? So just just imagine, right? Um what will be possible in the in the future. Because one of the things that you mentioned many times is this is the worst that is gonna be, like right. Yeah. Right. And this is in, in quite a while. This is the first time I've really been like getting goosebumps when I see something like I, I've seen because I watch almost an hour a day of AI videos and I'm just usually bored with them now because I'm not learning anything new. They're, oh, look at this new. Now we can have shadows right. on your, like whatever. It's so little stuff. This okay. is huge. This is really cool. So please like the video if you learned something it really helps us out. Tell us in the below how you think you might use this because. I think it's this is this is the point where seriously we're going to be limited to our imagination instead of actual skills. Like it's wild. That's insane. Yes. All right. All right. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.